Hello YouTubers, this is a record player, a very early Pi black box record player with a BSR Monarch turntable. Pi Limited of Cambridge, um, which coincidentally is where I'm located, was a innovative company um, during the last century. Um, it was founded at the turn of the 20th century and was a pioneer in the manufacture of domestic radios in the 1920s, televisions in the 1930s and transistor radios in the 1950s. The company was bought by the Dutch company Philips in 1976. Where does this particular turntable fit into all that? Well in 1954 um, Pi introduced an integrated record player with a built-in valve um, or tube uh, hi-fi amplifier and twin speakers, one on each side of the unit. Um, that was the first version. Um, this is several versions later and has a transistor amplifier. I shall try to get a shot of that by lifting this bit up. Yeah. One transistor amplifier. That detaches from that very easily. It's just two um, cables. One for the power one for the audio, which isn't stereo, um, it's mono, um, but via two speakers. Okay, let's put that down. Um, traditionally, until this point, which will be 63, 64, um, record players used a valve-based amplifier. This was one of the first to use a transistor-based amplifier. Um, so effectively, um, this is probably one of the first pieces of home audio, um, quality home audio, to have transistors rather than valves in the amplifier section. As I mentioned before, the turntable itself is a BSR Monarch. It has the usual speeds from that era. It has a crystal cartridge, the high tracking weight, and um, the records it plays uh, is ideally suited to records from that era um, and mono so the modern lighter stereo pressings aren't suitable for this it will play them but uh, there's a good chance it will damage them it's meant to be played with the lid down and in a corner due to the speakers you can imagine if it was in the corner of a room each speaker will be 45 degrees to each wall and that will bring the sound forward. The design is, by today's standards, far from hi-fi but at the time um, was innovative and there's no denying the quality. I mean this is heavy-duty quality construction. This is metal, I think it's pressed steel, that's pressed steel. This is, what, half inch thick? And this is 50 years old. And still going well. I'm going to demo this with a record um, due to YouTube's very strict um, copyright protocol. I'm going to make that into a second video. That one will no doubt be flagged up. Uh, this one won't. Um, it just helps with um, monetization. So I'll see you in video number two.